I didn't know you were scared of heights. Nah. I'm just taking in this amazing view. And look at all the trees. So when were you going to tell me? Tell you what? Oh, I think you know. Your big master plan. I don't know what you're talking about. Let me see. You set yourself up as Vice President of Development at a regional science centre. And what do you know? There's already an established facility, just like the one you work for, just down the road. Helene, we've spoken about this. And perhaps, maybe you can just convince the lady scientist that works there to give up her post. Willingly. All with just a little bit of Finch charm. Babe, what's going on? Babe, <laughs> you are thicker than I thought, Mike. I know. I know about your plan. You're just upset about Barry, okay? Can, can we just go inside His and talk about this? His name was Harry. And he reminded me what I was fighting for. I was fighting for that 12-year-old girl who looked up to her dad and who wanted to follow in his footsteps. I was fighting for Bill and God forbid Steve and everybody else who works here or everybody that might work here in the future, like Hallie. I think we just need to go inside. I know about Leslie. She's just a power hungry bureaucrat. Okay, look babe, this is silly. I'm really glad you popped in to see me actually. Because now I can tell you how we're going to save Siding Spring. And there is nothing you or your little sweetheart Leslie can do about it. Hey. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> what, what's wrong? He's not sorry at all. <laughs> <laughs>